Mercy helps out. It was summer on the island of Sodor. Percy enjoyed working in the sunshine, and he liked being able to say hello to his friends. Hello, Nelson, Percy called. Nelson was so busy he barely had time to hunk back. He was carrying machines everywhere, from the yard to the sites, and then all the way home. Day after day, Nelson was carrying, 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 until his axles ached. Just once, he thought to himself, I'd like to be carried. That night, Nelson had a dream. He dreamt he was sailing through the countryside. The breeze was blowing. He was enjoying himself, and he realized he was being carried. The next morning, Miss Jenny woke Nelson from his dream. Thomas has had an accident at Maithwaite Crossing, said Miss Jenny. Sir Topham Hatt needs you to take him to the repair yard. Nelson hoped his friend Thomas was all right. When Nelson arrived, he saw Thomas had come off the rails and broken a wheel. Thank you for coming, chuffed Thomas cheerfully. We'll get you back in no time, replied Nelson. Nelson had to be very careful. He'd never carried a steam engine before. Thomas's driver and Nelson's operator set to work at once. Nelson struggled as he winched Thomas aboard. You're heavier than a bulldozer and a steamroller put together, Nelson exclaimed. Thomas was surprised. I'm only a tank engine, he said. Soon Nelson was on his way. For Thomas was heavy. Nelson had to work very hard. Puff, panting, pulling. Soon they were making excellent time. Thomas was impressed. You're a very good carrier, said Thomas. Thank you, said Nelson. I pull freight cars and passenger cars all day long, added Thomas. It's good to be carried for a change. I'd like to be carried sometimes, said Nelson. But who would be big enough to carry me? Soon they arrived at the repair yard. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. You are a really useful truck. Nelson was tired, but he felt very proud. You can leave Thomas on the low loader, said Sir Topham Hatt. Miss Jenny needs you back at the yards immediately. Yes, sir, said Nelson. I'll drive as fast as I can. That won't be necessary, said Sir Topham Hatt. I'm taking you, cried Percy. Nelson could not believe what he had heard. Soon, Nelson was aboard Percy's low loader, and with a shout of, Thank you, everyone, they were off. Percy was giving Nelson a splendid ride. It was as magical as he had dreamed. The sky was blue, the trees were green. All Nelson had to do was look and listen as the beautiful Sodor countryside rolled peacefully by. What an excellent day, said Nelson cheerfully. Percy was happy. His friend was enjoying himself.